Hey guys, Matt at Narrow Labs with our uh, latest uh, simple web flow tutorial. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on a quick and easy way to create a sticky uh, piece of sidebar content. In this case, we have an ad, but it could be an image, uh, you know, a call to action, a sign up form, or what have you. So um, this is. Uh, very easily achieved. So let's jump right into Webflow and I will show you how. So uh, as usual, we have our, uh, just our boilerplate set up. There is another tutorial available on how we set up every project. So I have a section and a container already. And let's start <clears throat> by uh, laying the groundwork for our um, layout here. So we need some columns. and uh, make sure that they're aligned to the top and that's gonna make everything start off right and then let's just you know create a use a div to create a generic uh, content column we'll call this I'm gonna make this uh, for the sake of this uh, example 75% wide and then let's jump up into the columns and create our sticky uh, content column. So we'll just call this uh, sidebar. A little bit of simple math. So we'll make that 25% wide. And how about just a 60 pixel margin between the two? I know that's what we're using over on the example. Um, this looks pretty hollow. So I'm going to drop some text in just so that we can tell what we're looking at here. Uh, get some more Mipsum saved. Do, 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 do. Okay, that is enough to uh, illustrate the point, isn't it? And now let's throw something in the sidebar so that we can watch it uh, stick. So how about an image? Seems like a good day to use the old narrow land stamp, narrow labs stamp. And there we go. We are essentially uh, almost there. So all you need to do um, now, well, I'm gonna need to separate this content so there's something to scroll. So. Uh, let me just break this up a little bit and we'll put a little bit there and a little bit there and that looks good and I'll grab it all again so that we really can go for the effect. All right, let's do some scrolling. So just hop on over here to your, uh, sidebar column and change your position from static to sticky and you're already going to see uh, that you go down here and set a percentage so uh, let's start with say 10 percent and now that bad boy is going to start sticking once you've scrolled 10 percent if you want it to just not move at all uh, you would want to put it at zero Right, and then it's just going to sit right there. Uh, the example here sits at 30, so if you like that amount of spacing, there you go. But you can pretty much, you know, eyeball it in your testing from there. Uh, somewhere in between, between blah, 10 and 20 usually seems like a sweet spot, uh, and it'll just scroll with your content. So you really don't even need to go into the previewer to see that this is working. But there it is, and that sticks. Uh, what you prefer to do with it on mobile is uh, up to you. Uh, I typically, because this is, you know, at times like a paid ad, I will put it above the content. If it's something like a sign up form or a sidebar of, um, <clears throat> you know, additional links, I'll put it below the content and everything stacks up. Um, but that's it. Under five minutes. Uh, and you now know how to create sticky sidebars uh, where you can place ads, images, contact forms, additional content, you name it. Hope that was as quick and easy as you expected and uh, hope to see you on our next tutorial. Thanks guys.